In this video, we are going to discuss about construction and working of throttle governing of steam turbine, which is used to control power output of turbine according to load on alternator by keeping rotational speed of turbine constant. Generally, there are three types of governing used. These are throttle control, nozzle control, and bypass governing. In this video lecture, we learn that how throttle control governing works. In this governing, the pressure of steam get reduced and control before steam reaching the turbine. Here flow of steam entering into turbine is restricted by balanced throttle wall which is controlled by centrifugal governor. In case of small turbines, the throttle wall can be actuated directly with the help of governor through linkage. To learn how throttle governing works, let us consider the case when load on turbine shaft is equal to power developed by turbine the speed of turbine is constant and system is in equilibrium. Now let us assume the load on generator is reduced suddenly. At this state, since power developed by turbine is more than load, his turbine and governor speeds will increase due to excess energy developed by turbine. The governor boss will fly out and it will rise the sleeve of governor. Consequently, this link will pull the spool in upward direction. The oil which is supply under pressure will flow through pipe A to servo motor and it would force the piston while at bottom side oil from servo motor is drained out through pipe B. By this way oil will enter inside the cylinder and push the piston the movement of piston operates throttle wall which in turns close the steam ports partially and steam pressure at inlet to turbine is reduced. Now suppose load on generator is suddenly increased it will lead to reduction in rotational speed of turbine and governor. Due to this, governor ball spool inward side and sleeve will go down so that this will push the spool in downward direction. Hence, oil under pressure will flow through pipe B to bottom side of servo motor as well as port A and port D are free for oil return. By this way, oil will enter inside the cylinder and push the piston. Movement of piston operates throttle wall so it will increase opening of throttle wall and more steam will pass through turbine so it again hike the speed of turbine and ultimately it will reach to its equilibrium. When power developed by turbine equals to load on turbine, the oil ports are covered and servo motor is locked. In this way, with the help of throttle governing, we can control power output of turbine according to load on alternator by keeping rotational speed of turbine constant.